So how is the 2017 27-inch base model iMac for 1080p editing? That's a mouthful. Let's find out. Alright, so if you guys have watched my videos before, you know a lot about me. I'm pretty straightforward. I tell people I just do very simple videos. This one's actually a 2017 27-inch iMac. The base model It's only got 8 gigs of RAM right now. And I'm going to show you guys how good it is. I'm going to basically do a quick 1080p video using iMovie and uh, and then I'm going to render it and show you the render times and I'm going to do it quickly so you can see if you if you make a you know let's say a 10 minute video how long does it take to render 1080p on a 2017 iMac base model that's only got 8 gigs of RAM. I am running off an external SSD drive. Um, it has an internal fusion drive but I'm running off an external SSD. I have a ton of videos on that. But I just want to go through really basically, so don't, don't beat me up and give me a negative review. I'm just kind of laying it out there right now. What I'm going to do is just show you me making a video really quickly and then show you the time it takes it to render and how the performance is. Now this is only 1080p. I'm going to do 4K soon. I'm actually, I have RAM coming in. I'm going to add 24 gigs. So I'm going to have 20, actually what am I, I'm going to add 16, so I'm going to have 24 gigs total on this soon. And when I do that, I'm going to show people, I'll, I'll do a 4K video edit and show you the time it takes to edit 4K video and how smooth it is and stuff on a 2017 27-inch iMac. So let's go from there, but I want to show you that stuff for sure. Hope everyone's staying safe. It's a rainy day in Chicago today. So anyways, I hope you guys like my video. Subscribe if you can. I'll get into the video right now and show you all about it. So we're going to go ahead and just see the basic performance of that 2017 iMac. Might be four years old, but it's still beautiful. Everyone that's watched my videos before, I'm just going to dive right in. So here is my iMac. You can see my screen now. I put a bunch of random files over here. I'm not making a real video. I'm going to make something that appears to be real, but I'm just going to throw a bunch of stuff together. I'm going to open up iMovie over here. And uh, let's go ahead and just start this. We'll see how long the render time is and everything once we create it. I'm trying to make kind of more of a real kind of video for everyone so they can see how it would be. Um, so let's just say here's a new movie. Let's go in here. So what I'm going to do is just take all these files here. We'll take every single one and I'm sure everyone wants to watch me select them. That's really good TV. Um, anyways, everything's in here now and you can see that uh, I'm gonna, just going to start making my video. Now again, this is not going to be something that people will want to watch. I'm just going to show you the render time and then you know based off of how much time is on the timeline and then also you know I'm going to put some transitions in there and some other things. So let's just start. So let's just go ahead and put in some of these videos in here. Actually, let me not do all of them at once. Let's just do a couple. So the first one's about 2 minutes and 27 seconds. You can see that's me doing something that probably is not the best video. <laughs> Anyways, so there's one of them. Um, let's go ahead and let's see. This one's 31 seconds. We're going to throw that over here. And uh, let's go ahead and get this a little bit smaller so we can work with it, the timeline there. Um, let's just see. That's 10 seconds. This is another minute, so we're going to throw this over here. This one's 19 seconds, 19 seconds, 42 seconds. So right now, let's see here. We're up to about 4 minutes and 47 seconds on the video, and I'm going to throw a bunch of other stuff in here, so give me a second. This one's about 4 minutes, so let's go ahead and throw that in there as well. So now we have about an 8 minute and 58, you know, 8 uh, minute, 58 second video, which is kind of like a YouTube video, I guess. The thing I want to show you, though, is, you know, look at that, the timeline when I scroll. See this? I mean, it's super buttery smooth, and I have 8 gigs of RAM on this system, so it's a very, very buttery smooth system. Look at this. You can you can zoom in really close on, on the timeline if you really want to. You know, um, you know, if we get really close in there, if you watch the screen in the upper right, I'm I'm basically moving my mouse, and it's like one screen, or I can use my keyboard like this, and obviously you can get very, very intricate. So. As you can see, I can go as fast as I want. I mean, I'm moving back and forth, back and forth, and it's gonna not. There's gonna be very no stuttering whatsoever. So these are all, you know, you have no problem there. No problem, just working iMovie. Now again, Final Cut Pro. I have it on another system. I don't have it on this system currently installed, but it's gonna be the same experience more or less. I've tested it there as well. So you just have buttery smooth. Um, in any case, let's go ahead and just throw in just to show you what you know what the time and stuff is gonna be. Let's just throw in a couple of these different transitions in here. We'll do one up here, and we'll go ahead and make that a picture in picture. So let's go ahead and cut that in. You know, let's just pretend like that's going to run at the same time. So if I go ahead and start the timeline, you'll see. Hey, what's up? So do you like what? And there was a mistake by me, so I had to cut over. <laughs> Anyways, you get the idea. So, the, so basically, the, you know, everything's going to be very smooth, even in playback, as, as I add more and more to this. But I, I do want to make this something that's obviously going to be, you know, like a real video. 
And so let's just put something in here. Let's pretend like we were gonna do some kind of an effect like this. So let's say we're watching this video and then we cut to a different scene here as I'm talking about something. Um, you know, that's kind of coming in very slowly. You can see that there's nothing wrong with that. The transitions are very smooth and everything works really well. So without wasting a lot of people's time, I know this is kind of all standard stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a couple more little transitions in um, just to make it you know, work a little bit. Um, let's see what else we have. Is this one in there? I think this is the only one that's not. So let's just go throw this in as well. We're gonna to cut to this. Let's just pretend I'm talking about something. All right, that's good enough. So let's go into some titles here. And let's just go ahead and throw a couple titles in. You know, they all do a couple of crazy things. As you can see here, um, let me go ahead and click here so you can see. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to keep throwing in some titles. Nothing on the titles just so you can see what's going on. All right, so really quickly, let's just kind of throw in a couple, couple more themes here. You can see everything works very good. We're going to go ahead and select this video. It's 31 seconds over here if you can see it. And I'm going to go ahead and do just uh, stabilize the video. We can watch how long this is gonna take. This really varies on a lot of factors and as far as the speed of stabilizing video. So just, you know, generally it's gonna take about as long as that clip is. Right there, it's done. So it goes pretty quickly on the stabilization. We got some text in here, some titles. And let's go ahead and do some more transitions because those tend to be a little bit more difficult. Um, so basically, if you get into a transition, let's click this one. You can see even, you know, the preview of the transitions are pretty smooth. Um, you know, there's no stuttering or anything like that. So, and again, this is only eight gigs of RAM. So you can imagine when I add more RAM here coming up, but there you go. So I'm going to put in a couple other ones, spin outs and what have you. And, uh, you know, let's go ahead and just go ahead and, uh, cut this up a little bit, put a couple transitions in. So we have about almost a nine minute video. It's about eight minutes and 55 seconds. Um, so, you know, let's just pretend this is a YouTube video. You're done with it. Um, you know, let's go ahead actually, let me go back to in here. One thing maybe we want to do too, let me go ahead, just just because I usually do this in all my videos is, um, let me go to Finder and let me go to Downloads. Let's just try to find, um, what is this? Let's just put in some music in here, just to throw it in there, just to let it a little bit more. Let's see what happens here. <clears throat> All right, you got it. You get, you get the idea. But again, look at this. There's a little stutter there, I guess. But I mean, realistically, it's very, very smooth. So that's that's the end of the thing. It's very, very smooth. So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and render this really quickly to show people what this will, you know, how long will this actually take. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to here. I'm going to go to File. And I'll show you basically what I do. So. Typically what I'm gonna be doing is format audio and video 1080p. I'm gonna actually do high because that's, I'm not gonna do anything custom. I'm gonna do high quality and then compress. I'm gonna actually do better quality, not, not faster, but better quality, which is a little bit better. This is a 1.36 gigabyte file, eight minutes and 55 seconds. So I'm gonna click next and then we're gonna name it something here. We're gonna name it test and let's go. Actually, you know what, before I do that, let me go ahead and start this timer. If it comes up here, let's go ahead and start it and click save. And then you'll see it up here. And then when it when it's done rendering, we'll stop everything. All right, so it just finished. If you look up here, it says share successful. I stopped the timer. It took four minutes and 32 seconds. Four minutes and 32 seconds to render 1080p. And nine minutes, so it's basically half the amount of time. So nine minutes took about four and a half minutes. And uh, you know, there's only eight gigs of RAM on this iMac. It's a 2017 27 inch. So 1080p, it does with a breeze. So if a 10 minute video, I could take five minutes or so. Obviously, I didn't do too much stuff in the render, but you get the idea. It's really, really nice to do that. So it's not, it, it, it's a very nice system and the performance is great. But check out my video coming up on 4K editing. That's gonna be a little bit more harsh, but we'll see what it can do and if I give it a little bit more RAM. So what did everyone think? So it performs really well, as you can see. I mean, obviously, if you're a professional editor and like a couple of minutes make a huge difference, it might make a big difference to you. But this is a 2017. You can pick these up, you know, I don't know, maybe 1300 bucks, somewhere in that range right now. They come with eight gigs of RAM and a spinning drive. It's got a fusion, well, it's got a fusion drive, which is half spinning, half SSD, but it's got a small amount of SSD. So I basically boot off an external drive, which I have videos on. You can check those out later. And it's a really, really fast system. So I totally recommend it. A 2017, this is the 5K iMac. 
um, as you all know. And uh, you know, the screen's beautiful, everything about it, it's very quiet. So I highly recommend it. But I'm gonna do a video next, like I said, on the 4K editing when my 24 gig ships and uh, or when my 16 gig ships in, in a couple days and I'll do one on 4K to show you that, you know, if you wanna do 4K editing on this, is it, is it still capable? I'm gonna guess yes, because it's so capable now, but we'll see. I mean, eight gigs is, you know, even 1080p, obviously, it, it, you know, can handle that with ease. So anyways, if you guys watch my channel, you watch my videos, this is what I'm all about. I do very simple things like this. I just wanna show people the real world experience, not with all the glitter and lights. If you like it, subscribe, um, and let's go and, uh, you know, give me some suggestions in the comments, and I'll keep making videos like this. Talk to you soon.